Today, I want to share my Z Image Turbo Simple workflow. This is the workflow I use to create images for client projects, as well as my own work. It's a straightforward setup that generates an image using Z Image and then upscales it using Seed VR2. You can also use this as an image to image workflow by connecting the latent from the VAE here, or if you want to generate a new image, you can use the empty latent instead. First, we'll try the image upscaling method. The prompt is simply high quality. To upscale the image without changing it, set the denoise amount to exactly 0.3. This keeps the image intact and only increases the resolution. The original image is around 1K resolution. After upscaling, it's almost 3K. Now let's compare the result using the slider. Look at the facial details it produces. The hair strands now show fine detail and the fabric texture in the clothing is much clearer. The background bokeh is not lost. It's preserved correctly, unlike other upscalers that try to sharpen everything. CVR recognizes the bokeh and maintains the background blur. Look at the fruits in the picnic blanket. It enhances details at the pixel level. If you look closely at her dress, you'll notice it doesn't invent new details like some other upscalers. Instead, it brings out the details that already exist. That's what I like about CVR. There are times when we want to regenerate details, but for Z image, which already has good composition, we only need sharper details. If you want to upscale an image, use a denoise value of 0.3. If you want to generate a new image while maintaining the same subject and composition, you can increase the denoise value. To create a new subject identity, start at a denoise value of 0.6 or higher. Here is an example generated with a denoise value of 0.7. The composition and location remain the same, but the subject is now a different woman. Remember, 0.3 is for pure upscaling. Anything above that will begin generating a new image, similar to an image-to-image -image workflow. And here's the bonus tip. Now let's enter a more detailed prompt. We get a clear image of a woman sitting on a picnic blanket in bright afternoon sunlight. The image already looks very good. But what if we want more vivid colors and stronger contrast, like a real camera shot on a bright sunny afternoon? Let's increase the CFG value to 2 and generate again. Now we get a more vivid, high contrast image that feels like it was captured by a real camera. Notice the difference between the two images. On the left is CFG1 and on the right is CFG2. This is the trick if you want more vibrant results when using Z Image Turbo. That's all for today. I'll include the workflow download link in the description if you want to try it yourself.